Are we... inside the Black Mist? Are you sure you want to create this child, Em? Even after what I told you about his fate? <sighs> he will be abandoned by his creator, and eventually... I know, B. You've told me already. That sad story with the disappointing ending. It's what happened in the real world, isn't it? But that's exactly why I want to change things. In a different world, his story can have a happier ending. That child, his heart is so full of love. I understand, Anya. But know that if you give him that name, his fate in Simulanka is destined to parallel that of his real world namesake. But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, but I have to try. He deserves a better life. Although, he might need the help of others when the time comes. All right, my dear. The choice is yours. Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. <sighs> More boring fate talk. I'm sorry, my child. Unlike my friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than the fairy tales in this book. So I will have to leave your side, I'm afraid. It's okay. It's okay. Once I'm gone, I will become a star in Simulanka and watch over you from above. If you ever feel lonely, just look up towards the sky. Go forth and witness this world, my child. Make sure to be nice to everyone. You'll meet good friends one day. I'm sure of it. That is my wish for your future. As for this world, I leave it to you. <sighs> so in the end, you're betrayed too. Dragon, he brought you some food. You must be hungry. Shh, quiet. We can't let anyone hear us. Everyone says you're a bad dragon, but you're always nice to me when we play together. You always help me pick flowers way up high that I can't reach. It's okay. Just keep hiding here, and tomorrow I'll... Oh no, my child! Help! Somebody help me! Save my child! The dragon's trying to kidnap her! No, Mom! It's not like that! Listen to me! <sighs> so you're hated by people too. So that's it. That's really your wish? To never have been born at all? That's not a fate you should wish for. Nobody can define who you are. 
or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. It's all right now. It's a close call. Are you guys all right? Back in Constellation Metropole, I heard people saying you'd gone to fight the dragon, so I followed you here. Right when I managed to catch up, I saw you fall through that hole. Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Shouldn't we do something? Oh yeah, that guy. Well, he can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He called the dragon something earlier. It sounded like he said... Durin. That's his name. Oh, hat guy, you're okay. Wait, what about the dragon... Durin? He's fine. Durin. Oh, wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragon's Fine, right? The one that became a part of the mountain after being slain by Dvalin? If Paimon remembers correctly, it was created by... Right, it was created by Rhine Daughter. Hmm. Created, you say? So, what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. <sighs> so that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. Huh. I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded, but I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Titania Mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, you are the hero of this world. Now go forth and save the dragon. Huh. Who is the person behind this voice anyway? And why- Come with me. The answer to all this can be found below. Is this... a study? That's right. It belongs to the Goddess of Fate. Goddess of Fate? As in one of the three goddesses who created Simulanka? Or more precisely, M. One of the mages of the Hexenzirkel. Hexenzirkel? As in... Sorry, Paimon shouldn't just regurgitate everything you say, it's just... It's a lot to take in! She created the story of Durin. Well, the Simulanka version, at least. These records should cover most of what you want to know. 
including the identities of the other two goddesses. Read them for yourselves. My dear sisters, I fear my pen shall soon run dry. Even now, as I write this letter to you, my dexterity is all but failing me. The time we spent together was the most wonderful youth I could have asked for. <laughs> I always feel so young when we're together. A says that even after I'm gone, the goddess of fate in Simulanka will continue to exist and carry on granting people's wishes. It makes me glad. If you ever want to chat, feel free to pay a visit to the goddess statue. Just don't wish for anything weird. By all rights, I should have been A, since A is the first and last letter of my name. But Alice overruled me on the basis of seniority and said I should be M instead because of my middle name. <laughs> she really knows how to push my buttons. Still, her magic never fails to amaze me. I still can't believe she got one of my origami frogs to start talking. Hmm. Why don't I write a story with origami animals as the main characters? Let's see. Once upon a time, in a magical forest, there lived a group of animals made of paper. Barbie loves looking into the future, so she used her powers to map out the fates of all living things in Simulanka. But knowing the end, I think I'll make a bet with her. I believe that one day, the people of Simulanka will decide to carve their own destiny. Oh, apparently, she wants to build a statue of herself in the capital city. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking to add some pizzazz. It's Simulonka Duran, and he's looking up at something. A star. This must have been after M passed away. This looks like. A mine? Maybe the Titania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Yeah. Now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. The Forest of Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. looks different from the one in the Metropole. It's a different goddess. This one is the goddess of fate. <sighs> it's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. <laughs>
So that's why you made that wish? <sighs> so stupid. Hey! Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. You just want to make friends, people to play with, to talk to, people who accept you, or at least accept your apology. Oh, you've never hurt anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Sure, you scared a bunch of people half to death, but that's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you really are. Yeah. If you had a heart-to-heart -heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and see your point of view. <laughs> the curse... Huh? Milu? Is it your true wish to live side-by-side -side with the people of Simulanka? Then close your eyes, and make a wish to the Goddess of Fate. We will help make your wish come true. Just trust me. I, Nilu, the Forest Fairy, give to you my blessing, and welcome you as a dweller of the forest. May everyone accept you as one of our own. And may the Forest of Blessings be a place you can call home. I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too! As the, uh, Nekomata in Boots of this World, I give you my blessing too. Wait, what's going on? <sighs> I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend, I wish you all the best for the future. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill no matter where you go. As for this world, I leave it to you. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Huh? My... My claws? Are these my claws? And my wings? Oh, my tail? Does this mean... Oh, wow, you look so cute. Quite a radical transformation. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the way you looked before, of course. It's just... Uh, you get what I mean. How do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Does anyone have a flower with them? Or even just some water or paper from this world? Oh, I do actually. Here you go. They're... they're not changing. I can touch things without changing them. Hey, that's great. One more flying friend for Paimon. Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm. But what about all the things that I did before? That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground. Or help the people around the Broken Sea get home. Okay. And you'll come along and help me, right, Hat Guy? Huh? Why would I do that? Uh... Because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little... Gah. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? But I thought... 
All right, fine. I'll go with you. Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. Oh, thank you! You're the first friend to call me by my name! <sighs> Let's go back up. I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> yeah, okay. Paimon just never thought we'd see the day, that's all. All right. Let's also head back up then. Uh... Don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Mm-hmm! Thank you for your blessings, everyone! Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time! Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! <laughs> street Lamp? Oh my! You mean you still don't remember me after all the times we've spoken? I know that voice! It's Mom's friend! Hello there, traveler and friends! And Durin, it's good to see you. You've changed quite a lot. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. <laughs> Mini Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. Are you the goddess of creation? <sighs> yep, that's right. But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution toward the founding of this world. If you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So enchanting that I just had to step inside and explore it for real. So I got B involved, and with M's consent, created the world of Simulanka. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're getting a little ahead of yourself! First things first! Would you mind explaining what you're doing here? In fact, no! What are we even doing here? <laughs> Don't worry, all will be revealed. After everything you accomplished on your journey, you're free to ask me anything you want. Hmm, let's start with your first question then. I'm here because I sensed a great magic power emanating from the book just now, and I couldn't resist the urge to peek inside and check it out. That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessings, right? Yes, exactly. In the world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spell. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. So, what about us? Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Uh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say fate works in mysterious ways. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the Goddess of Fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful people were holding a copy of M's fairy tale at that exact moment. And because of your noble and kind souls, you were selected by the Goddess of Fate to come and save this world. Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluff Sandra. I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> wow, what a crazy coincidence. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got a sign to roll except us? Because we were also... Yeah, that was it. We just received a strange 
book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found ourselves here. You're the oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes, that does sound like me, doesn't it? Hmm, good question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story, it simply had to be read by someone. As the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place pass you by? I can sense that your blessing for Mini Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? That's right! In fact, back when we were first creating Simulanka, M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. So, in other words, the predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one way or another. Wait, so even if the people here get to go to other worlds, surely there's gotta be a way we can leave too, right? <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? Huh? You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea or touch the giant bookmark at the Cliff of Prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. How were we supposed to know that if you never told us? Huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem for you. As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the Goddess of Fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed in the story. She's M's reflection, after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares M's love for cliffhangers. Anyway, I think that answers your questions, yes? What do you all plan to do next? I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that... I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Mm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, Paimon's suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. I, for one, plan to explore it a little longer. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should invite some other friends to join you too. By the way, Mini Durin, I'm delighted to see you've made some new friends. I'm sure Em would be very proud of you. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories Em used to tell. <sighs> She's gone. Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The Adventures of Minnie Durin and Friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? Ugh, oh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Durin from the three goddesses of this world. Oh, thank you, Mom.